Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about that how to perform drag and drop with Playwright. So you can see in this application, I have two elements available. One is the, you can say source element and this is my target element. What we have to do, we have to move this element and then drop it here, right? So I'll show you once again. Just simple refresh this page and uh, this element, I have to move it or you can say drag it and drop it here like this. And remember <clears throat> with Playwright or with Selenium or any automation tool that you are using it, drag and drop, we are always talking about element to element drag and drop. I cannot drag and drop some file element from your C drive or D drive and dropping it here on your web page. No, I'm talking about drag and drop from element to another element and that's it. How to use it? It's pretty simple in Playwright. So I have already launched this particular URL here. There are two ways we can do it with one single method and then we can just do it with multiple methods also. We can do it here. So simple, let's see with one single method that I'm going to show you here. Single statement, let's write a wait and then you just need to write page dot which locator that you are talking about. I'm talking about the locator of the first element. The first element locator is this guy. So let's inspect that if we have any specific uh, locator here, we have ID available. So I'll just copy this ID and then I quickly use the CSS selector here that hash ID here. So page dot locator and then they have given one method drag to method is there. It means tell me where exactly you want to uh, drag up to where on which element. So here I'm saying drag to the specific element. So here, see, if you see the drag to method signature, it says that you have to give me the target locator. So what we can do, we can use this particular method. And then again, we are writing page dot a locator and the target locator and the locator is this ID. So I'm going to use ID once again here. So hash ID, the CSS selector that I'm going to use it here. Only one single statement locator drag to this particular element. This is your source and this is your target element. Let's run it and let's see, is it really working or not? So run it and uh, browser is getting launched, entering the URL and super fast drag and drop is done here. That's it. Simple. That is the first way. Another way is that you can use multiple mouse actions. Also, you can uh, simply use it here. What we can do. So I'm just going to comment it out this one. Now we are going to use a proper way. Proper way means see this carefully. If I ask you to do it manually, how will you do it? Manually means simple, hold this particular element or click this particular element and move to this particular element and release your mouse or drop it over here or release it here, right? So a couple of multiple mouse click operations, we have to use it here that click and hold and move it and then drop it here. Similar way we can use it here with the, I would say multiple uh, commands also we can use it here. Simple what you have to do. So we'll write page dot, which locator, the locator number one, that is your source locator. I'll do one thing. This is the ID of that particular element. So hash ID that I'm going to use it here. And then you simply do a mouse hover on it, right? This is just like that mouse over on it like this. So it will just hover the mouse on that particular element. After that, again, I'm saying page dot, and we have to perform one more action with the mouse method or mouse property dot down method we have to use it over here see this is the down and then again after that we have to write page dot locator for the target element that i'm going to use the target element is droppable the id is droppable so let's write with the hash or droppable over here and then again we have to do a mouse over on it and then after that again we are going to use page dot use the mouse and then this is the mouse property dot. And then we have to use the up method over here like this. Let me put in the single quote or double quote here. Okay. Over and then that's it. So page dot locator droppable over and then mouse up. So these are the four steps that we have to use it here. So let's run it again. Is it really working or not? So yeah, browser is launched and then drag and drop. So this is more, I would say the manual way or multiple uh, commands that if you really want to use it, the way you are using it manually, the way you are using your mouse, exactly same way that we are using it over down and then again over to the target element and then mouse up once again. If you don't want to use all these four methods, 
you can go with single command also here but remember it's always about element to element drag and drop and then uh, i'll just rename it to drag and drop thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all